everyone. Welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves that I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed and bringing our hands together at our hearts to say the secret yoga code word. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. And today we want to find out what our story is about. So we look through our cosmonoculars. We bring our thumbs and fingers together and we have a look through. Oh, look at that. Wow. All those pretty colours. Isn't it lovely? All those shapes. Can you see the picture? What is it? It's a metal detective. It's Marv, the metal detective. He's a robot. What's he doing? He's doing yoga. He's doing house pose. This is very exciting. We're going on an adventure with Marv the Metal Detective. Let's start our adventure today, lying in our beds. We lie all the way down, like we've just woken up from a lovely night's sleep. <sighs> we stretch our arms long and our legs long, like a long piece of spaghetti and we roll over oh, and we get out of our beds. Wow! Let's lean forwards and open up the curtains. We bend forwards, reach to the curtains and open them wide. Oh, what a beautiful sunny day! Let's open the window. We bend forwards to lift the window up. Oh, and we say, hello sun! Hello, sun. Time to get dressed. Now, we need to put our socks on. Hmm. Let's lift up one leg, trying not to wobble, and put on one sock. Whoop, whoop. And let's do the other one. Oh, trying not to wobble. Let's put that one on too. Whoop. Well done, everyone. Then we go down the stairs. Down we go, down we go, down we, down we, down we go. What's that noise? We rub our ears. We can hear something. It's coming from the cupboard underneath the stairs. Let's go and open the cupboard door. Coming down to your knees, take your leg out to the side and lift your arm to the sky and open up the cupboard door going... Oop. Out flies! Beep, beep, metal, metal! It's Marv, the metal detective. We close the cupboard door, bringing two knees together again. Extend your other leg out to the other side. Lift and reach your arm up and close the door. Ooh. How exciting, Marv, the metal detective. He's obviously been switched on. Beep, beep, metal, metal. And he's ready to go and find some metals. We give our mummies and daddies a great big hug goodbye. Reach your arms wide and give them a big cuddle. Lovely. Then we get our bicycles out. Lying on our backs, we crisscross our fingers behind our heads and lift up our legs to pedal. Beep, beep, metal, metal. Yes, Marv, we know. Our bike is made of metal. Mm -hmm. We cycle along. Oh, we go. This is fun. I wonder where our day will take us. Marv the Metal Detective hovers beside us. This is great fun. We cycle over a bridge. Sitting all the way up, bend your knees, feet flat, hands behind you, and lift yourself up, making a bridge shape. Beep, beep, metal, metal. Yes, Marv, the bridge is made of metal. That's right. Sitting on your bottoms, along the road are lots of cars and buses. <coughs> beep, beep, metal, metal. Yes, Marv, the cars and the buses are also made of metal. We decide to have a little rest in the park. Ah, the fresh air. Ah, 
along comes a gold-coloured butterfly. Bring the soles of your feet together and flutter your butterfly wings. The gold-coloured butterfly lands on Marv's nose. <laughs> beep, beep, metal, metal. No, Marv. Let's look at that butterfly's wings. One, two, three. Gold. Gold-coloured. Let's look at the other wing. One, two, three. Gold. Gold-coloured. Let's look under both wings. One, two, three. Gold! But this is a gold-coloured butterfly, not a gold metal butterfly. Never mind, Marv. In the pond in the park are lots of silver fish. Extend your legs long and come down onto your elbows. Pop, pop, pop your chest to the sky and look all the way back behind you like a little silver fish. Beep, beep, metal, metal! No, Marv! They're not really silver. They're just silver-coloured fish. Oh! In the park, there is a statue. A statue that's made of something called bronze. Bronze is a metal. And the statue is of a lion roaring. Coming to two knees. After three, let's do a big lion roar. One, two, three. Rawr! But this is just a statue made of metal, bronze metal. Marv goes straight up to it and says, Beep, beep, metal, metal. Yes, Marv, you're right. It is metal. So how do we tell things are metal? Hmm. We start by going like this on them. Then we give them a rub. <laughs> and it goes all shiny. Yes. Then we touch it with our hands. <gasps> It feels very, very cold. And what if we knock it? Oh, yes. It makes a very hard sound and feels very hard on our hands. Hmm, that's how we tell it's metal. Time to go back on our bicycles. Beep, beep, metal, metal. Yes, Marv, we know that our bicycles are metal. <laughs> Let's get on. We crisscross our fingers behind our backs and we start to pedal again. We're going to the train station to catch a train. Yay! Here we are. We stand up and we wait on the platform with Marv the Metal Detective for the train to come. It arrives on the platform. Oop, oop. Marv goes, beep, beep, metal, metal. Yes, Marv, the train is made of steel. Steel is metal as well. On we go, on our train. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, here we go around the track. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, here we go around the track. Faster and faster and faster we go. Faster and faster and faster we go. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, here we go around the track. Faster and faster and faster we go until we're going very slow. Pull the horn. Hoop. We've arrived at the beach. <gasps> and Marv the metal detective, he zooms straight to a tree. Bringing one foot on top of the other, your hands together at your heart, and grow up tall. Marv goes, beep, beep, metal, metal. Marv, are you sure that tree is made out of metal? Hmm? We try our tree on the other side. Bringing your other foot on top now and your hands together. Grow your tree up tall. Beep, beep, metal, metal. Something is definitely troubling Marv about this tree. Perhaps it's not the tree. It must be something that's hidden beneath the tree. We start to dig. <laughs> Taking your hands behind you, crisscross your fingers and bend all the way forward as you say, Dig! And up, and again. Dig! And again. Dig! We dig a great big hole underneath the tree where we find a treasure chest. Oh, sitting on our bottoms, bring the soles of your feet together. This treasure chest is closed, so bow all the way forwards, closing it up. Beep, beep, metal, metal. We need to open this treasure chest. Marv knows there is some metal inside it. But we need a key. 
a metal key. And who is really good at finding metal? Yes, Marv, the metal detective. He zooms up and down the beach. Zoom, 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 zoom. And he stops in the middle and says, Beep, beep, metal, metal. We go and dig right in the spot where Marv has stopped. Turning around, crisscross your fingers and dig. Dig! Dig! Last time, dig! And there it is, a tiny little key. Eek. Let's go and see if it opens up the treasure chest. Sitting on our bottoms again, soles of your feet together. Let's see if the treasure chest opens. Ready? <gasps> it opened. And inside... Beep, beep, metal, metal! There's lots and lots of money. Coins, gold coins, silver coins, bronze coins. All these coins. We should share this treasure because it's good to share things. Let's go. We get back on our bicycles again. Beep, beep, metal, metal. Yes, Marv, we know that our bikes are made of metal. Let's get on. We lie back, we put our hands behind our heads and we cycle. We cycle and we go round a corner and round another corner. Up a long hill and down one really fast. Yay! When we get home, our mummies and daddies help us and Marv the Metal Detective share the treasure. Some of it goes to the museum so loads of people can see it. Then the telephone rings. Take your legs out long. Ring, 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 ring. Let's answer it. Hello there, how can I help you? <gasps> it's the museum. They're saying thank you for sharing the treasure. Yes, that's fine. No, we're very glad to. Bye bye. Then the phone rings again. Ring, 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 ring. Let's answer that one. Hello? <gasps> it's the Queen. Oh, hello, Mum. Yes, we did. We found the treasure. We gave it to the museum. You want to give us a gold medal? We're going to Buckingham Palace. Oh, this is so exciting. Yes, Mum, sorry. Yes. We'll see you there in a minute. Bye. Marv, the metal detective, and we go to Buckingham Palace. We stand up. And we bow to receive our gold medal. As Marv stands up, he says, Beep, beep, metal, metal! Yes, he's got a gold medal! It's metal! Wow, what a day this has been. We've learned so much about so many different metals. Oh, but we're feeling quite tired now, especially after our trip to Buckingham Palace. So we lie ourselves down and have a little rest. Lying back, ah! Oh, we take some moments to relax our bodies and we switch our friend Marv the Metal Detective off so that he can have a little rest as well. Wow, we've learnt so much. There are so many different metals in the world. Some metals are made from valuable things like gold and silver. And there are other metals that are everyday metals all around us, like knives and forks, pots and pans for cooking, door handles, gates, keys, and coins, money. Then there's other things like cars and buses and trains and tools, like hammers and screwdrivers and spades. All those different metals. And with Marv the Metal Detective, our friend, our robot friend, we can go and discover them all. What fun! It's time to wake up now. So we wiggle our fingers and our toes. 
Give our knees a big cuddle. We roll over onto our sides and come up to sitting with our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts, just like we started. And we finish with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming on the metal detective story with me. Marv was brilliant and so were you. I hope you enjoyed it and come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. <laughs>